UBS is planning significant job cuts across its investment bank that's expected to affect over 100 positions globally. This move follows the rescue of Credit Suisse, which increased UBS workforce substantially. Job losses are anticipated in wealth management and market units. The CEO is aiming to save $6 billion in staff costs. Now, UBS shares have fallen due to proposed regularly reforms, potentially resulting in a $20 billion capital hit. The restructuring process, coupled with the merger of parent banks and subsidiaries, do make 2024 a challenging year for the bank. So the seasonal patterns are particularly interesting right now. You can see that we're heading into a seasonally strong back pattern for UBS, with an average return of 2% over the last 25 years, from April the 19th through to the 2nd of May. There's been some outsized gains of over 10% in 2017, 13 and 2009, but there have been losses in the last three years. What's also interesting about the seasonal pattern is that we're coming into the end of a strong seasonal pattern that then reverts to a much weaker seasonal pattern with heavy losses in 2008, nine over the global financial crisis. But we did see recent gains in 2023 with upside of around 6.09%. So looking at UBS on a chart, we can see that the recent weakness has just fallen down into this big weekly trend area. So will we find support and dip buyers around that 2550 area? And will the job cuts that are proposed be enough to turn sentiment around? The major trade risk here, of course, is that previous seasonal patterns don't necessarily repeat themselves each year. And the prospect of a $20 billion capital hit could result in further downside for UBS shares. Don't forget to sign up to Season X for thousands of more seasonal insights just waiting to be revealed. Remember, don't just trade it, Season X it.